Welcome to Arrows TV. I'm your host, Johnny Kelly. And your co-host, Alex Burt. Tonight we have lots of action to show you, along with breaking records and half-court shots. For tonight's episode, we're going to start by discussing the under-18 game against Cheshire Wire. And here are the highlights. There were the highlights for the under 18, a great win. And we caught up with coach Mitch Dennison. What signs from today's game are encouraging going forward? I like the character the team showed in the second half. At a tough second quarter, where we didn't score many points, they came back in the third and fourth. And never, once you got a lead, you never like losing again, really. Is there anything that you need to work on for next week's game? Uh, I think it's a lot of discipline and offence. There are a few times we rushed a few shots, forced up bad shots, where it's kind of put us back in the second quarter. But apart from that, we look pretty solid. And other news from this weekend's games was the under 16s as they defeated the Ilkeston Outlaws 103 to 53. Great news coming from that game as Wada Hassan followed 55 points from the uh, previous week and he broke the arrow scoring record breaking 60 points previous. He's raised the bar to 62 points. Fantastic scoring performance by him. We called up with James Kelly. As an Arrows junior coach, what are your thoughts on Wada Hassan breaking the scoring record yesterday? I think it's a, a fantastic achievement for him. Um, I know he's very proud. Of, as a club, we, we are very proud of him. Um, and to be honest, it's, it's a testament to, for all the hard work that he's, he's put in. And at the moment, it's all coming together. He's playing extremely well. But in the same token, you, you have to consider that he couldn't have done it without his teammates. His teammates have worked very hard for him the last two games um, to give him the opportunity to, to take the scoring accolades that he has done. Thank you. The last game from Saturday was the under-14s as they finished a trio of action from Saturday. 
They played local rivals, the Junior Sharks, away from home and went down 53-45. to 45. A great effort from a very, very young team, only featuring one under 13, one under 11, and everybody was under 12. Which is a phenomenal effort. Logan Shepherd top scored with 20 points, and Isaac Asquith scored 13. Also, a quick apology for the Sheffield Gems for us not mentioning their game last week. But they defeated Bradford last week, so congratulations to the Gems. Um, in other news was the men's game on Sunday as we finished up the Patrons Cup, um, defeating the Worcester Wolves. Johnny, a little bit to say about the game? I thought, considering we were short-handed, we found a way to win. We went down 9-0 very early on, but really uh, we dug deep and we found it as a squad and found a way to win. And that's always a good sign when, you're, when you start poorly and end up playing very well, uh, as we were towards the final stages of that game. Um, but I'll tell you what, there's some great highlights to be seen. Here they are. Men's highlights, and now it's time for our new feature. Would you rather this week with under 18 player Zerain Zahir? State your name and your team. Zerain Zahir, Arrows under 18. Would you rather win a hundred thousand pound for yourself or a million pound for the club? I'd win a million pound for the club and then spend a hundred thousand on myself. Would you rather make the NBA or win every Arrows game for 10 years? Win every Arrows game for 10 years. Would you rather have Phil Jackson coach or the Kelly family? The Kelly family. Oh. Would you rather have the Arrows win every game for two years or the Sharks lose every game for 10 years? Sharks lose every game for 10 years. In one word, describe the following. Big Boss. Great. Kelly family. Hard working. Killer Marsh. Fun. Drumfield. Training. <laughs> Arrows. Fantastic. Right, uh, Favourite overseas player and why? I quite like Darren Best. I um, thought he was quite a good player and uh, he was quite a fan favourite, I think. Okay. Favourite player you have played played with and why? Um, it'd probably have to be Ross Walker because it's kind of weird and he's amazing. <laughs> he's kind of good. 
Okay. If you had one basketball wish for you or the Arrows, what would it be and why? Um, probably for us to win a lot of games and hopefully play for the men's team. Oh, that's nice. On to the Twitter challenge of the week. Unfortunately, there were no winners from last week's question. Um, the right answer would have been the under-16 teams as they defeated their opponent by 50 points. Quick shout-out, congratulations to them. Um, but for this week's Twitter question of the week, it is, of all of the men's players for the Arrows Club, name in order, one, two, and three, the top three rebounders of the team. And once you find out, or once you discover what your answer is going to be, tweet it to the handle below, and hopefully you win. We can get a shout-out for you. Good luck. Brilliant. Now is a special treat for you. Uh, the men's team on Friday and a few juniors tried the half-court challenge. Check it out. Sorry, I thought we were done. I'm selling under-18, God. Just walk out on the 18 point gun. My name is Warren, I'm playing for the 16. George Buff, extremely ill. And Jason Kudis, number seven in the program, number one in your heart. What are you, Vince Bongal. Zorinze here, under 18, Big Z, from the drizzle, chocolate drizzle. <laughs> Men's guard. Unfortunately, none of the players made the half court shot, but that's the name of the game. Um, anyways, here's the AJK challenge. Last week was the intellectual challenge, which we both failed at nil nil. This time, the physical challenge, something that I'm really looking forward to. Fortunately, I am a trick shot master, and it's the half court challenge for me and Alex. Check out the results. I drilled the half court shot and the competitor over here shot up an unfortunate air ball. It was so straight. Hey man. I can't believe you went lefty. Lefty, half court, swoosh. Shout out me. Thank you. 1-0. I'm now winning the AJK challenge. Thankfully Alex is not a show off. So <laughs> moving on. Moving on and the last thing to say is this week's fixtures. Uh, only two teams are at home this week, the under 14s and the under 18s. On the Saturday the under 14s will try and get their win tally rolling against the Bradford Dragons, 12.30 at Killamash. They will be followed at 2.30 as the under 18s face a big test against Manchester Magic. Away games on that day are the under 16s who will go down to North Dance. The Sheffield Gems will go away to Harrogate. And the Arrows men's team will be down south in Southampton. Great trip for us. So hopefully we can get some wins across the club. It's a huge five teams playing this weekend. Absolutely brilliant. And on the Sunday is the big rivalry for the under 18s. The Arrows will play the Sharks in the first round of the cup. Check it out. It will be at Dronfield Sports Centre 
2.30. Get down, wear red, make some noise, and let's see if we can get the arrows progressing to the next round of the cup. Let's beat the Sharks. That's it this week for Arrows TV. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching it all the way to the video. <laughs> uh, that's great news for us. And uh, <coughs> share it. Share Arrows TV, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or whatever you've got. All right. Thank you for watching. Thanks, guys. We'll see you.